uh, uh, you know, he, he has he has on his plate somebody that he can eat doable. He can have that feast if he wants. But Little has to go on. Well, both fighters have been here for the last few weeks, but they say the altitude is something that's been very difficult. And now we're going to find out how much it will be in the fight. Let's head upstairs. Here is our ring announcer for tonight's program, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you. Y a todos nuestros amigos ecuatorianos, bienvenidos, aficionados al box, al Coliseo Rumenyawi, por un gran noche de boxeo. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us around the world, we do welcome you to the beautiful city of Quito, Ecuador, known as the middle of the world, for a big night of action brought to you by Don King Productions, Promotores Asociados, and La Cerveza Más Fina Corona. Bien amigos, esta es la primera atracción especial de la noche por el título Peso Supermedio de la Asociación Mundial de Boxeo. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association Presidente Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Rodolfo Fortich, along with la Comisión de Boxeo Profesional de Pichincha. Presentando a los jueces, introducing to you the judges, scoring this bout from ringside. Oscar Perez, Gonzalo Riveras, and Bob Watson, the referee, yes, the referee working in this is 20th world title bout, Rafael Ramos. All right, fans, here we go with the WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Este es el campeonato peso super medio de la AMB de 12 rounds. Presentando al retador en la esquina azul, presenting first the challenger in the blue corner, wearing white trunks with blue trim, un boxeador de Davenport, Iowa, en los Estados Unidos. Pesando 168 libras, he weighed in at the super middleweight level of 168 pounds. Con un record de 43 victorias, dos derrotas con 28 victorias por knockout. His outstanding record includes 43 wins, two losses, 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome tonight's challenger, ranked the number three super middleweight contender by the WBA. Here is the two-time world champion and former WBA super middleweight champion of the world, presentando al retador número tres en el mundo. Aquí está Sweet. Michael, second to none. Y campeón en la esquina roja. His opponent across the ring is the defending champion fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with blue trim, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, by way of Syracuse, New York, and Los Estados Unidos. Con un peso de 167 libras, he weighed in at already 167 pounds. Tiene un récord de 25 victorias, una derrota y un sin concurso con 16 ganadas por knockout. His record includes 25 wins, only one loss, one no contest, with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Welcome to the WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Tonight, making the first defense of his title, demos la bienvenida al campeón Frankie Lyle. Aquí está el referee Rafael. Ramos. Frank, Michael, I'm here to enforce the regulation of the WBA. Protect yourself at all times. Okay, obey my command. Good luck. Shake hands. Shake hands. Go back to the corner. Back to the corner. Well, the two fighters have been introduced. The crowd may have started to pick a favorite here early on. And you can do the same as we get ready for this WBA Super Middleweight Championship. It'll go 12 rounds. and. Rafael Ramos, the third man in the ring in his 20th title fight, and he will be a man that'll be maybe called on somewhat tonight, even though Lyle will have to come to none, and we'll find out exactly how much none's particular game plan will change. Two things I noticed coming into the ring also. Lyle didn't look like he'd worked up much of a sweat. Is that a problem in the altitude in the dressing room? And even none looked a little dry. Well, that is a problem of, of this altitude. I, I don't find that too remarkable. Both these guys are slow starters, so they'll get warmed up in the ring. Uh, it, it's not a factor in this fight. What is a factor is whether Nunn decides he's going to attack or whether he's going to be a defense. And uh, 
you know, that we'll see after this first round. Right now, he's just a, a defensive picking things off. A defensive fight. Well, for the Southpaws of the world, certainly two Southpaws fighting for a world title tonight. Gives you, of course, a little hurrah for tonight. And Michael Nunn, you can see, standing in the center of the ring, letting Lyle come to him as he normally does, then throws a couple of combinations and misses. Caught a pretty good left off the shoulder of Lyle and sends him into the ropes. Lyle comes out punching on the counter punch. He stunned Nunn with those two punches. He blinked. You can tell when Nunn gets hurt. Oh, Lyle. And you see Nunn resorting to the swing down, and now he's being warned. That's a little desperation on this part. He got gone real good, and he was just trying to buy some time. He knows better than that. That's a foul. By the way, Lyles, with 16 knockouts in his wins, has had seven of those in the first round. None of his 28 has had eight in the first round. 18 of his 28 inside of four. 14 of 16 for Lyle inside the first four rounds. So, again, they feel it out in the first round, but they do get their business done. Well, this is a much more active round than before than I've ever seen Lyle fight before. He usually just runs his first round. Halfway through round one, scheduled for 12. Frankie Lyle's in conversation with him at the weigh-in. Said he felt comfortable. Said he trained harder as the champion. He didn't know what that responsibility was until he actually got the title. Until he got his bank account. Took a look at the zeros. That gets you in the gym. You know, to, to heighten the uh, similarity, oh, they exchange hard punches there. Not only do they look alike and, and, and are boxing alike, but they both have white trunks. I mean, it's like you're, you're watching the, uh, two guys in the mirror. Let him go, let him go, come on, take back. You see the red tussles down the right side of the trunks and the left of none. Blue stripe down that of Frankie Lyle, the champion. Couple of good left hands that time by none on his way in. And Lyle clinching to try to keep out of trouble. Young holds in with another left hand, and now he holds again and slings his hand to the canvas. Now that twice that he has resorted to dirty tactics, which the referee has got to get tough about here pretty soon. Well, I must say, it's a completely different character for Nunn. Boy, he's trying to get out of here early. Michael Nunn starting off as probably one of the premier amateurs that everybody thought was going to be a sure shot pro, a two-time world champion. Being caught by James Tony in the 11th round to lose his title as a middleweight when he had all the cards going his way. As you see, he sends a right low and he gets the warning by the referee all the way to his corner. And the referees walked him all the way back. Let's listen. by the working in that corner of Frankie Lyles. And you saw how quickly they try to change and get their strategy going for round two here, Ferdy. Well, he better change something because he even had a worried look on his face as he'd gotten gone two or three times. And none is out uh, manhandling him. He, he's scaring him. And, you know, none's always been this gentlemanly guy. Well, he looks like he's an alley fighter right now. He's throwing people around. He's hitting them low. It's a completely different look for Michael Nunn. Three nice punches that didn't do any of didn't have any effect if they were landing softly as if you were looking for that punch. Not, not really let him go. Come on, let him go. Michael Dunn has been characteristically a counter puncher waiting for the other fighter to come to him. As Ferdy has pointed out, he's looked much more aggressive through the first few moments of the second and certainly in the first round. And Lyles almost a mirror effect as they meet each other in the center of the ring again. Lyles is not really punching hard now. It's like you do in a gym workout. You're throwing the punches, but they're not really zinging. They're not really to hurt. Just kind of trying to find them, localize them. And then he comes off. But in the meantime, he's building up points. And let's say that 